Mortal Kombat New Era. What is up? It is your boy Dynasty back at it again today playing some Mortal Kombat Mugen Mortal Kombat New Era today using a character that I miss that being the cleric of chaos himself Havoc. Yeah, Havoc has not been a playable character since Mortal Kombat Armageddon That's like 15 years ago despite being featured with small cameos and current day ladder endings being Joker's best friend in Mortal Kombat 11, we don't get to see Havoc often these days, but I hope that changes very soon. If Mortal Kombat 12 is around the corner, I think universally we all agree, Havoc should be on the game's roster. Drop a like if you want Havoc in Mortal Kombat 12, or if you appreciate Dynasty, drop in the videos every single day. It is always weird when I call myself Dynasty in third person, but you gotta do it sometimes. But yes, today, playing some Mugen, MK New Era. If you want to play this game yourself, it is free to play. The download link will be in the pinned comment down below. But without further ado, let us start the chaos that is Mortal Kombat Mugen with Havoc, the cleric of chaos. And speaking of chaos, looks like this is his story in Mortal Kombat New Era. As you can see here, it reads, uh, great story. Now, yesterday we did the champion ladder, and sadly, I don't think Havoc is as broken as Super Saiyan Absolute Zero, so I think it's time we go back down to the Master Tower, so... Doing the Master Tower, I'm sorry, I don't want to keep you guys here for, uh... Longer than you gotta be! You'd probably be here for like an hour, and some of you guys might like that, but... Most of you, probably not, but today... We're kicking things off with Human Sector. We've never seen Human Sector before. Look at the intro animation. It is amazing. But Havoc is an interesting character in this Mugen build because he has pretty much all the 3D era special moves returning in this build of New Era. So you can see you have the crackling legs projectile, the diving corpse. He even has the torso spin, the morning star, and the head snap. As for his springs, his springs, his strings! Dynasty, what are you talking about? <laughs> Havoc, making chaos already. The combos, he only has three combo strings, and honestly, they're okay, I guess. He does have a lot of easy to pull off finishing moves, so you guys should be excited to see. Hopefully, all of these pulled off today. Maybe not the brutality, but I'll try. But yes, today we are using the best 3D era character, in my opinion. Look at that crackling leg projectile in 2D. I'll do the diving corpse next where he uh, goes head first into the ground. It's a low. Quite effective, look at that. He grabs your ankles. He has an ankle kink. The cleric of chaos with a kink for ankles. Then we have this uh, little spinny move. Yeah, this is the funniest one to get done too, because it's like the run button, the block button, and the run button. So you just like press the bumpers. Or not! Jeez! Block, run, block. I don't think you can combo out of it either, which kind of sucks. How come it's not working? Yeah, you see, you can't even catch a combo off the pop up, which is quite unfortunate. Then lastly, we have the. Yo, Sector, we're trying to do a showcase here, jeez. All right, guys, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do me like that. Oh my God, we're already losing. How are we already losing? Chaos is ensuing. This is what happens when you try to showcase the damn move set. Jeez, give me human Sector. I want to pull off a fatality on his ass. Torso spin finally works. <laughs> the Morning Star, um, all he really does to the Morning Star is stun the opponent. It's kind of anticlimactic, honestly. Why don't these moves work? <laughs> Havoc! Back forward. Okay, there you go. So that's the Morning Star. It's super slow charge, and then it just stuns them for a few seconds to give you the ability to go into a string. And then he has the ability to do a 
Head Snap, which will regenerate, I believe, health? Yes, we get our health back if you break his neck. So those are all the special moves for Havoc. At the expense of me losing one match for you guys, but we are back. What? So Havoc just busts out a Necronomicon, the Book of Chaos, goes invisible, and makes the opponent's body explode. There you go, that's fatality number two for Havoc in Mortal Kombat New Era. No more losses, let's just win this whole ladder. So, yeah, honestly, an interesting character to say the least. What are hitboxes? Oh, that's pretty much like the main string we'll be using. He's got three and that's probably the best one, the most with the bang for the buck. So yeah, crack in the legs if you need to. You gotta be cheap and play like it is Mortal Kombat 11. You have options. Give me your feet! Avoiding the projectiles with the fucking the feet move. Okay, let's go. Morning star. Woo! Decapitated. Decapitated. Robocop. I like that one a bit better. Because at least that one you're gonna see the sprite in action. Just charging up like he is shaggy in multiverses. Again, Tony, if I break the NDA, I love you. I'm so glad his fatalities are not broken. It is making my day to know that this should not be as stressful as some of the other playthroughs we go through. Flawless victory of the broken string. Give me your feet. Give me your feet. Havoc is a fan of the ankles. He said at any cost. Did it work? Yo, let's go, baby. Fatality number three, an uppercut, and then you just land on the morning star. The pit stage was so fitting for this. Just blends right in. So those are all of his fatalities. I'm intrigued to see the friendship. Does the Joker make an appearance? Because that is his best friend according to Mortal Kombat 11. Take the projectile, Ryu! Ah, we almost have Flawless again. Can he not run? What's the run animation look like for Havoc? Uh, that's pretty generic, honestly. He turns into a rooster! That was the last thing I thought I'd see. Havoc doing the chicken. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what the uh, the origins are. Havoc becoming a rooster, a chicken, but Mortal Kombat New Era 2022. What animal does he turn into for his animality? I wonder. Give me your feet, Akuma! Akuma has stinky feet, he's barefoot. Probably exactly what Havoc is into. Back, back, forward, forward, they said. <laughs> what? Well, that's not the animality, is it? Did that happen last time? I don't think that was the same explosion we got last time either. That is really weird. That's super strange. I'm pretty sure the body completely exploded and there was blood the last time we saw that fatality. Are there different versions of fatalities or am I just tripping? I feel like that was not what we saw initially. Interesting. 
I'll go a bit, a little bit farther back for the animality next time. Raiden from MK1 is not a fan of the Cleric of Chaos, but yeah, I think this dude has so much potential, honestly. He's always had potential. It's a fucking shame we've not seen him since Armageddon, if you even want to call that a, a game. It's more of a trilogy type game, so it's essentially just a watered down version of Deception Havoc, who I think is the best character in Deception. Maybe not to use, but in terms of. Ugh, damn it. Maybe not the easiest character to use in that game, um, but the most fun, dude. But the most fun. He's a character that literally breaks his body at the expense of winning. I want to do the stupid, yeah, that thing. The corpse spin. This is the funkiest... This is the funkiest special move I've ever had to do in Mugen. The fact that it's... He chuckles! I mean, really, he chuckles afterwards. He chuckles when he does it. It just sucks that you can't combo out of that, so... But yeah, the fact that it's me pressing the left bumper and the right bumper, and then the left bumper... Or the right bumper, left bumper, left bumper? Left, right bumper, left bumper, right bumper. That's a tongue twister. Uh, that's really sick. Come here, I'm gonna stun you with my mallet! My morning star! Woo! Okay. Yo, this animality is not working! What is going on in this bitch? Kitana! Do you guys remember when I made a video when the roster got leaked for Mortal Kombat 11 and I was in such a rush to break it down and talk about it and throw it on the internet that your boy's brain was fried and I was like breaking down code names and there was some pretty interesting code names that were a lot harder to decrypt and I was like KIT who could that be who is KIT and the whole comment section just lit me up and they were like you're not a real Mortal Kombat fan you didn't realize that was Katana I understand, guys. I understand. That'll haunt me forever. I'm talking about that five years later. <laughs> Mistakes happen, alright? Woo! Woo! What?! She hears me! Take that string! I want to do, uh, Scarlet soon. How would you guys feel about Scarlet and Serena playthroughs? Back, back, forward, forward. Back, back, forward, forward. Back, back, forward, forward. You know, I'll take the Harakiri instead because the animality is just not working. I'm going to try holding block, but we'll see what happens. And I do not think... I love the intro animation he has. Look at the stage. What a great stage. I don't even think it tells you the distance. Yeah, it's just simply back, back, forward, forward, so. Take my projectile, Lulu! Could you imagine with the new Unreal Engine seeing Havoc break his limbs to win? Coolest concept ever, dude. Oh my god. Health regen was needed. Give me your feet! Give me your ankles! The sprite honestly looks really bad um, initially, but when you're playing in game, it kind of just blends in. So it doesn't look as homemade as uh, initially looks on like the main menu screen. Because so the main menu screen, a lot of these sprites are just custom made, and they don't look as good as the OG sprites, but. It worked! No, it didn't! I swear. Mugen makes no sense. But yeah, this sprite honestly cleans up very well. So shout out to whoever made the Havoc sprite. I like it. I wish it was purple, though. I wish he had, you know, different colors other than just like the, uh, what is that, burgundy? Red? I think a purple Havoc would have been pretty, pretty sick. Just like his costume back in, uh, Deception. I think that'd be really cool. We're already making our way to the bosses. Well... Well, that's just the way it be sometimes. 
Oh! Ah! Uh. So you gotta pull off the full animation to get the health regen. If you are hit mid animation, you do not get the health. The more you know. Was that just the taunt back in the day as well? I don't even think that was a health regen back in the 3D era, was it? Can somebody let me know if that was a health regen? I don't think it was. I think it was just a taunt back then. Fuck. Oh! Damn Beyblade move. Oh man, the projectiles are so OP when Goro decides to use them. Give me your feet, stinky boy. I want your feet. You know what I'm here for? Your feet, Goro. Your feet. Oh my God. Ah! Take that. <laughs> Every time I see this fatality animation, I just think the game's at a break. Because <laughs> it takes so long for something to happen. He's just winding it up. An incredible winning streak! A new warrior awaits you. Every time we see that, I never get a, an interesting warrior, unless it's gonna be Goth Kentaro again. Yeah, I don't know who the interesting warrior is. Alrighty, Kentaro, will you be a pain in my ass today? Or should I just smell your feet? Uh, smell your feet! Smell your feet! Smell your feet! Smell your feet! Oh, Shiva stomps. Oh, Shiva grab. I'm smelling your feet! Smelling your feet! Smelling your feet! Smelling your feet! If this works the whole time. Oh, my sprite touched the sprite! My sprite touched this sprite. You guys saw that. You guys saw that, but regardless, if you want to beat Kitaro, all you gotta do is smell the feet. Look at that evil gameplay right here. Wow. Oh, I just lunged into a grab. Smell the feet. Smell the feet. Take that. Morningstar wind up to the uppercut decapitation. Havoc wins. Woo! Fatality. Smell the feet. When in doubt, smell the feet. That's all you gotta do. Use that in real life, guys. When in doubt, Smell the feet. Alrighty, Mataro, do you like your feet being sniffed? Your hooves? You smell the hooves? Smell the hooves! <laughs> smell the hooves! Oh, shit. Well, we were having a great time. Until a certain somebody just had to fuck that up. Oh, we got so close off of the fucking feet cheese, quite literally. Bet you Mataro's feet smell like ass. Like fucking centaur manure. I'm just trying to do a string, and at what cost? Alrighty, whatever. Whatever, Mataro. Whatever, man. Should we just be, uh... Should we just be cheap and go for the fucking feet? Ah! Oh, I was with the block button! I need to get away from them when he does that. Oh! Imagine if they just let me get one fucking string in? Oh, I love when the sprite touches his sprite and nothing happens. I love it. It's my favorite part of Mugen. Oh god, dude. Wow! Definitely didn't just see that 10 seconds ago. I, I mean it when I say that we should study this as a case study. Like, Dynasty, Justin's mood before he fights fucking Mataro. Versus after. Because I really think this is where people can just go into a state they just can't exit. 
I, I feel like I'm a changed man after like 14 days of this shit. I feel like I'm losing part of my soul each time I lose. I feel like it comes at a cost. Do you guys realize that? A piece of me dies every time I have to fight this guy. A literal piece of me dies. You guys are supporting the death of Dynasty. <laughs> oh god, I hate you, Mataro. You are the fucking worst, dude. Stinky ass hooves! Harakiri! That looks like something Nightwolf would have done back in the day. <laughs> Number four. me how the middle of a fucking string Mataro is somehow able to fucking cancel. Please explain that to me. Please explain how that makes any fucking sense and how that's fair. I was sliding you fucking piece of shit. It's really hard to record more than one video a day because the idea of having to go through this pain and suffering more than once a day is just too much sometimes. Just right, nothing happened. I love this fucking game. I fucking love Mugen. But I just somehow fall into his fucking animation. Oh yeah, Macho Man, Randy Savage in this bitch, Cleric of Chaos in this bitch. No way. No way! though give me your fucking hooves put it in my mouth what he has no health he has no health he has no health he has no health he has no health! He had no health! Let me get up! I, I, I'm about to literally quit this fucking game. I've seen way too much bullshit with this fucking playthrough compared to every other fucking playthrough we've ever fucking done. 
I'm literally fucking done, dude. Completely done. I'm not really done, but I, I really don't want to keep playing this, dude. It's literally destroying my fucking brain. It's literally destroying my fucking brain. My sanity is being destroyed right now. This is exactly how Havoc wants me to feel. This is what, attempt number 15, probably? I never want to talk about Wataro again. Give me your dragon stinky feet! Tony Khan, stop jumping! Kidding me? This corner is gonna get me killed. Woo! Oh, I need a fucking beer. <laughs> I need a fucking forty ounce. <laughs> I'm so stressed right now. I'm so stressed at this playthrough. Mataro is still in my head rent free. You suck, dude. I don't suck. You suck. Stinky feet. Stinky feet. Fucking shoulder tackle piece of shit. Shoulder tackle that, bitch! Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> God, dude. You are nothing. Stinky feet. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, like the one time I let go of the fucking block button, I get fucking charged too, dude. The worst luck always. Yeah! Just like we planned it! Just like we planned it! Stinky feet! Stinky feet! Stinky feet! Stinky feet! Ah. Ah. I love you guys. Thank you for watching me rage. It's so fun. It, it does really take a toll on my mental health. I feel like it really does. Um, it really- I just burped. Gross. Havoc making me fucking become a monster. It really does take a toll on my mental health, dude. There's not anything more taxing, I think, than actually doing the Mataro playthrough. I, I don't care. I feel like Mataro will always be king broke. King broke AI. That that is always gonna be havoc. 
Excuse me, Mataro. You see, I can't even speak properly because I'm so fucking flustered still. Like, I'm about to get destroyed by Blaze, and it's okay, because, like... Hopefully I'm not stuck with Blaze for another 15 tries, but we'll see what happens. You see, this is- this is just Mugen right here. You make a comeback and you still get destroyed. He opened up his well hole and he blew his fucking- his- his fucking well blowhole at me. Ugh, god. Does a stinky feet work on Blaze? Who knows? Okay, 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 okay. Stinky, molten rock and lava feet! Stinky feet! Oh my goodness, when does it end? When does it end? When does the roly poly stop? Throwing fire at him just seems to make him more upset. Uh, come on, hit me the blowhole! My 10th try, probably! Maybe 15th. I stopped keeping track after, like, the 8th, so... I don't really know what try this is, so... Amazing. Amazing. Such a bitch, Blaze. I'm so over this game. I'm so over this game. So if he die 25 times, you get a brutality. This is brutal, dude. This is so brutal. This is so brutal. Like, I don't understand who pissed in his cereal today, but this is the hardest he's ever been. Never had this much stress with this guy. Ever. But the last two playthroughs, I don't know, man. Someone pissed him off because he's just been a pain in the ass. Like, this is like number 30. Attempt number like 30. All this is gonna be worthless, don't worry. Once he gets in front of me and gets to my face and starts doing one string, I'll never get out the corner, so it's okay. Don't worry. I'm almost gonna get beat right here. Don't worry, I'm almost- I'm almost dead. Okay. See, like, they just give you this false hope just to go and shit on you. <laughs> like, I don't- I don't want to keep doing this. This happens every time. I'll block every string. This gonna be so heartbreaking when I lose right now. I'm gonna take a break when I lose right now. I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah. See what I mean? Ooh. 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 Only took 30 tries. It only took 30 tries. You broke me. Congrats. Congrats, Mugen. Congrats. You gave me something I didn't think I'd experience. More pain than Mataro could bring. I am a shell of myself now. No ending. All that for nothing.
You weren't here to watch all of it. You won't see the, the 30 attempts, probably just like a couple of them. Uh, but, but let me just tell you, that was... Whoo! That was something. I've never had to go more than maybe, what, four or five attempts? That was really hard. Is it because Havoc has literally really slow moves and only really one string to work with? Probably, but boy, was that a lot harder than I was expecting. I did not think Mataro would be easier than Blaze today. So I was going to go through a bunch of other playthroughs. I still might. It's funny. I woke up early to have more time to record and then I spent more time than ever on fucking Blaze. But yeah, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Drop a like if you enjoy the rage and watching me, uh... Lose my humanity. Do I look defeated? I really hope it's coming across on camera. Like, I, my fingers hurt. This is brutal. If you ever want to torture yourself, this is the best type of torture. It is what it is. Love you guys. A piece of me dies each upload. Just, I want you to know that. Once I open up memberships, you should probably join. It goes a long way for my psychiatrist. Love you. Peace. Yeah. Hey, you on it, crack, but I'm